This is weird. Uh oh. Tension's rising. The music's getting creepier. Slender Man's gonna come out. Or Freddy from Five Nights at Freddy's. Although this isn't Five Nights at Freddy's. I have no idea what I'm doing. I don't know where to go. I'm just trying to move around cautiously in case there's more traps here. See, there's so many paths to discover in it. Okay, so across there where that... That, uh Yeah, the, where the track is, this is where cross here leads down to the lake, so it's circled back, so that's good. There's no significance, you know, no certain way to go. But I'll come back across here and try and have a look to see what's going on here. I've not found any more clues, or traps, for that matter. I'm just a guy wanting a lovely stroll through the forest, chilled out. I don't want no hassle. I don't want Slender Man coming out with his stupid men in black suit. What is that noise? Sounds like. It's creaking. Go on top of this rock, get a good view of the. Lay the land. Right. That's weird. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just going to run up here. Blindly. And stupidly. Stupidly? Of course. Stupidly. Let's just roll with it. That's a word, right? Hello, Clebo, 2002. Hope I pronounced your name right, Clebo, I think. Oh, spect. A grenade. Oh, cool. You just go walking through the forest, just find a grenade, why not? So I take it. I'm thinking that I need to take that grenade back to where the rocks were and blow the living hell out of them. I'm thinking. Just thinking. Out of the box. Limo. Apologies. Um, right, let's see. Where am I going here? Right, let's go back to the rocks. Take this grenade. Just a regular guy through, going through the forest. Nice forest walk. With a grenade in my pocket. Well, thanks for watching, Limo. Thank you. Right, let's go back and blow the living hell out of this. This is rock. Oh, what? Oh, right. Now I get it. There's a dip at, of course. Slowing the uptake here. There's a dip at, so there's a missing rock. There should be a rock there. So it's potentially around here somewhere. But then how there's loads of rocks. Look, there's there's a rock. There's a rock. Up there's there's rocks. Up there there's rocks. Anything in here? Nope. Nope. I can literally not find where I'm going. I'm going to head down here, I think. 
in the hopes that there's no that there's not any other traps. up here can go over this over this at all nope nope now where the freaking hell do I go right, I'm just gonna head down this way oh some lights please don't be a trap well it's ringing well it's buzzing Space man. Come here. Come back here, Buzz Aldrin. I'm coming for you, Buzz Aldrin. I'm coming for you. Where are you going? Where do you go? Crap. Where do you go? Crap, I lost him. Is he across here? No. He's not across here. Ah, what? I take it that music means that I lost him. Need to get Buzz Aldrin back. That's weird though, how... How weird is that? That just all of a sudden... Just like that. Oh, what? You can't reset it. Oh, you could do it again. Here we go. Get him! Get him! Come here! Boo! You run away like a sissy girl. He ran up here. I have no idea if he ran up here. Yes, he did. Come here. I see you. Slender man's coming for you. Yes, <laughs> I'm the Slender Man. <laughs> I'm coming to get you. I'm coming for you! Yeah, I'm not tripping balls at all, I'm just running through a forest chasing a spaceman. An es an astronaut? <laughs> an astronaut. There he is. Come here. I just want to talk. I just want to talk. I just want to talk about the moon landing. Eh, uh, no, I'm Scottish in fact. Where the hell did he go? Uh, oh man, I lost him. I think. Crap. It was doing so well. I lost him again. I have to chase him again. Yeah, I'm actually Scottish. Which is it's quite a common misconception that Irish and Scottish sound the same, but... I am from Scotland. Right, I need to go back up here, get this control panel again and chase him down. Ah, oh, you're Irish. Very good. Right, let's do this again. Here we go. Chase him. Let's get him. We'll get him together. Come out for the tree. Boo! I'm gonna catch him. I'm gonna do it this time. I'm determined. Did I outsmart him? Or I, I take it this is part of it. I think he's gonna lead me to some clue. I need to head down here. 
Don't run away, come on, I just want to talk, man. Come on, let's light up a J. Chill out. Talk about space and stuff. Come on. Come on, are we a planet? Does Mars have loving life forms on it? Right, I can't figure out where it goes from here. I'm gonna follow this path. There he is! I'm coming for you! There he is! Holy crap! Okay. <laughs> Let's get on it! Let's get on this. Now I'm on a spaceship! What the, f <laughs> what the hell's going on? What the hell? Bye Red Creek Valley! Bye family! Bye everyone I know and love! Whoa! This is trippy! Well, thank you, I don't know what I'm doing in this game, <laughs> but I'm trying my best. What the hell's going on? This is really trippy. Is that the Death Star? Where's the Death Star? Why the hell am I in space? I had no idea this was going in space. This has took a turn. I wonder if Ethan, Ethan Carter's here. <laughs> this is weird. I'm like a space pod. How bizarre. And then Paul woke up, and it was all a dream. Then he just went to his shitty-ass job as a detective. Right, I take it I need to do something here. Oh, a note. Read. Fangs. The beast had fangs, but it was heavy and slow, so when it saw the light in the sky, it waited, thinking the light would go out. Like the others before it, when it did not, the beast ro <coughs> rose up on its legs and went to the place where the fire was still burning. As the orange light died, another took its place. This one was blue, a bright, pure blue that the creature had only seen along the edges of the stars. The beast showed its fangs and the light vanished. A moment later, the light appeared again between two distant trees. The beast wanted to go home but could not ignore the light, so it chased it deeper into the forest. Hmm... Right, so I take it that's this is another part. Get out of my room, Travis! Stories, stories, always with the stories. Get out! I read the Fangs one. I liked uh, the Beast. At least he gets to leave this goddamn place. Fangs. All right, I see. So this must be. This must be part of Ethan's story. This must be. So this isn't doing the trip, this is what he's imagining when he's reading. Well, this is what I can, this is all I can think of, but when the detective, when me, Paul, was reading this, this is what he's imagining in his mind when he's reading Ethan's stories. So, I take it that must, I think that's what that is. Um, this game is called The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. It's on the PlayStation Network. It's pretty good. So far. Uh, take it this is, yeah, that's just a Fang's, Fang's story. Oh, there's another one here. Abstruous Tales, <laughs> Gaylord, Yellow Hills of Mars by Douglas Spaulding. Gillian Willis West. Hmm, nothing in the back. I didn't check if there was anything in the back of that one, if there was a drawing. Oh, it's just the front page of it. As the ground disappeared, the beast realised it would never use its fangs again. Ah, oh, so there's more to it, right? Okay, I see. Right, so 